Hi folks, Tanker Man here. How y'all doing? Well, this video here is about trails, single track. This is the area a few years ago I did a, uh, if you notice out here, all these woods and everything. If you notice, no houses or nothing. But um, years ago, I, a couple years ago, I did a uh, video about uh, trail closing as possible and showed uh, a video of uh, the Breezy Hill single trap being shut down. Well, there's a group, and uh, I'm part of the membership of it, that's trying to get the trails open back up. Well, uh, a bunch of people is members of it. But um, Mr. Jesse Neal is spearheading the deal, and uh, we're trying to talk to uh, Ralph Abraham and uh, other rep state representatives about getting it open back up. Uh, but move the trail. It'll no longer be called Breezy Hill. It'll be called uh, so Sosa, uh, Sosa Branch uh, or Creek uh, Trail. But it's going to run out there. And like I said, if you notice, there's not this forestry, Cassation National Forest. So it's no schools or nothing else. We're not trying to uh, get a trail through somebody's subdivision or anything. This is public land. And uh, we need y'all help to contact uh, state representative. Uh, I'll put some contact information there in the description. Uh, y'all can email or uh, make a telephone call and talk to them. Um, but the single track is going to be through here. And uh, the members now is going to be one that's pretty much going to be uh, cutting the trails and maintaining trails. So forestry really ain't got to do nothing. But uh, the uh, So it's not really going to be a burden to no tax dollars or nothing else. Uh, but it's going to run through here. I'm trying to show y'all that both sides of the road ain't nothing but woods. This road right here cuts right through the middle of it. Uh, in fact, the uh, old Breezy Hill Trail runs alongside of there and out there, too, so there was a trail system out there before. But by the map that uh, Mr. Neal sent out to everybody, I've uh, kind of looked at the map and thought I'd come up here and see if I can get all my subscribers or at least half of y'all because you never know, y'all might want to come down here and ride the trails with us. But there's a few people trying to uh, fight the trails uh, um, for their own personal reasons. Uh, you know, they they don't realize it's public land. It's not their personal playground, but I can't, I can't kind of understand they're afraid that there'll uh, be a bunch of, be a bunch of uh, hooligans going on. But uh, that's one reason why when you're in these uh, areas and you come through, even though it's a forestry area and uh, this public land and everything, respect those who live around here especially because uh, you want to leave them with a positive attitude toward dirt bikes, dual sports, whatever you ride. Uh, otherwise, you risk chance of uh, causing them to get upset and they get upset enough. They'll start going to their uh, politicians. And you gotta remember, you are riding in their neighborhood. It's just like if someone came in and started riding in your neighborhood 
and uh, speeding and littering and everything, you wouldn't like that too much either. So it's kind of the same thing, so kind of be respectful of the locals in your area or anywhere you go, because this is their neighborhood. Yes, it is public land, but this is their neighborhood. As you can tell, this is nothing but Cassation National Forest. It's all wooded. Um, you got good, uh, well, rough blacktop road uh, pretty much around it. I think I pass a road by mistake. <laughs> I think I might have went too far. I could be wrong. But we'll see. But like I said, as you can tell, this ain't nothing but woods. You ain't you know, we're not going to be hurting the thing. But I want to understand there's one gentleman that has some uh, private land that butts up to the la land where the trail is going to be. I might have to pull, <coughs> pull over and check my map again. I didn't think it was that far up, but I could be wrong. But yeah, anyhow, this is a good idea, even if I went too far, to show you that <laughs> we're out here in the middle of the woods. Okay, over here you have a house, but they're way off the road, so I mean, you ain't gonna hurt a thing. Okay, this here might be the road. I'll check Mr. Jesse's uh, map. I think this is it. Well, anyhow, even if it ain't, it's pretty right anyway. It's all about the same type of terrain. As you can tell, it's, it's, it's beautiful woods. It's, uh, we're, we're not proposing to go out there and cut all the trees and everything. We want to build a trail through the trees, around the trees. And this is that Sosa branch or whatever you want to call it. I hope I'm pretty creek. I've actually coon hunting on that creek before. But, um... Like I said, it's, uh... It's out here in the middle of the Cassation National Forest. It's nothing that... Keep it in gear, David. Uh, that's going to disturb anybody. But like I said, down in the description, I'm going to uh, put a link to uh, contact information and stuff like that there. I've been wanting to uh, do this video a little while. And uh, I want to wait until it uh, kind of seem just where it was headed and everything before I had people calling too early but it's, it's down in kind of looking pretty good 
if uh, we get enough people to call. Now they, um, you know, don't don't worry so much about the uh, you're living out of the state. You, this is federal land, and you are a federal taxpayer, so uh, don't worry about it. You have just as much right to ride these federal roads and trails at, as I do. Just like if I come in your neighborhood, I have just as much in your uh, on your federal land. Big old mound over there. I'm gonna say that's an in mound. <laughs> okay, probably not, but man, the trail's gonna cut through all through in there, winding around and everything. So as you can tell, it's it's really a beautiful piece of uh, woods. That's uh, we're not gonna be hurting nothing. If anything, the trail's going to act like a fire break to help keep the, uh, if a fire did break out, keep, keep it, the fire under control. But somewhere it crosses this road here and goes over there a little bit. I think up up the ways a little bit past where the uh, uh, Forster Road 106 crosses, well, intersects this road. I'm trying to remember the map by memory. They've come out here and grade the roads pretty good, so this makes for a little smooth ride, but look at them dogwoods. Gotta love them dogwoods, huh? Man, yeah. back to where I was originally at. I'm starting that like ride map now and getting off subject. But yeah the tr trail's gonna weave all out in there around and uh oh here's a prairie dog wood. Y'all have to forgive me I gotta look at this dog wood. Ain't this pretty Oh, that is gorgeous. This is a picture perfect moment, huh? We're going to take a picture. Let's take a picture. All right. <laughs> Before anybody says it, it's my right if I want to stop and take pictures, Mr. John, I will. Speaking of which, y'all can give him a hard time. I called him to see if he wanted to come ride with me and help me do this video. And uh, <laughs> as soon as he answered, he said, I'm busy and hung up. So, whenever he sees I went riding, he's going to say, Well, why didn't you call me? Well, I did. <laughs> I guess I better put my gloves on or right hand twist will be where's your gloves where's your gloves in my pocket some air. Getting a little warm out here. 
Woo, there's another one. Oh, I love these old dog woods. But if we get, that'll be a nice little single track. Give everybody a somewhere different to ride. And it'll help ease up some of the traffic on the other trails. Line up going by the map now. Yeah, unless I'm mistaken by the look of his map. It's gonna wind up coming through here. And Mercer Neil watches this here. He can correct me in the comments. And he can actually put some more information if he like. You're more than welcome to Mr. Uh, Neil. Okay, that's 105, all right. By what I understand, it's going to shoot, shoot across the road here. Um, somewhere past 105 and go out there a little ways. And wind through the trees and everything, of course. somewhere through here it's supposed to well, they did control burn if y'all wondering what that black is that's uh here in our state we do control burn that way there uh, it kind of keeps the uh, forest forest from getting out of control and we don't have problems with that forest forest really Plus it allows new vegetation to take place to help feed the uh, animals, you know. Um, people do worry about the poor animals, but they'll burn here and as you can tell they ain't burnt there so animals able to cross. But this, uh, if we get this trail, it's really going to be a, a nice setup. And it's not too far from my house. It's a little further than, uh, uh, you know, Livingston, of course. But uh, Livingston ha is a multi-use trail for four-wheelers, motorcycles, and everything. And uh, the problem with that is, um, you know, the four-wheelers, they like to play in the mud because that's what four-wheelers fun doing. But take y'all down in this control burn. Let y'all. Feel wicked. Like I said, with the uh, dirt bikes riding trails, it'll help. Uh, it'll help keep the forest forest down and stuff like there in the underbrush. Yeah, I know. It, a lot of people are going to sit there and say it. That ain't nothing, but it's gonna have a little bit of um, heels to it. Nothing that's nothing technical, 
But it'll be a good trail that, I mean, you actually come out here with, uh, with kids and everything else and ride because, I mean, it ain't no humongous hills or nothing like there in these woods. But it'll be a fun little trail for it. everybody. And like I said, it will help uh, ease some of the burden off of the four-wheeler trails, make them less uh, not as busy. It reports that, uh, you know, some guys uh, work that worry about hunting and everything else, and you know, if they need to close it during hunting season, I'm fine with that. I mean, shoot, we got to work together, it's public land. But there's no sense in just letting this land sit here and for weeds and briars and everything grow on it when we can be using it. Getting people out, getting them off of the couches, on the dirt bikes. But this here is uh, Forestry Road 106. That is a road that cuts through over there to that blacktop that I was on earlier, and it's a, uh, it kind of like the halfway mark. I probably wouldn't say it's exactly halfway, but ain't nobody lives on it. It's all government land, just Sashi National Forest land. So, I mean, <clears throat> as y'all can tell, who, what are we bothering, you know? Got that laying uh, across the road where the house sits off road a good bit. So it's not like we gonna bother him. I'm sure he is afraid we will, but I mean, I do understand man's concern. He didn't buy land out here joining Concession National Forest to uh, have people right in the woods in front of his house, but at the same time, it is public land. And that's why it's important that I feel like like the trail section that runs right there in front of his house. Maybe he have it out of courtesy, slow down, and wave at the man, people passing, if we do get open. them with kindness. actually have uh, 
some hair scrambles out here. Who knows? Um, but you don't matter me whatever they decide. I mean, it's not like I'm a big racer. All right, that that land posted it so. We took back before we got to a post land across the road. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, that rough ain't. Ease up here. Check out the creek. Ain't that pretty? You got them some uh, man-made dam there for swimming hole. Who knows, maybe the man, uh, scared we're going to disturb his swimming hole. But as y'all can tell, I don't really see where anybody have an issue with us out here, right? But there's always that one or two that they go on. Think the worst of any anything, any change, I should say. But if y'all help us out, I sure appreciate it. Like I said, I'll put the information down in the description, and uh, y'all can uh, contact them and uh, and see what we can do about getting us a, a nudge single track in this area. Um, And uh, big special thanks to uh, Jesse uh, Neal for his hard work on trying to get this uh, to happen. And hopefully it will materialize. Take a man out. Y'all stay safe.